Okay, good morning, everyone. So we're going to use a chair and also a, um, a weight. So go ahead and grab your weights. If you don't have weights, actually, you can grab a um, can of any sort. And also, if you have a block, that might come in handy. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to um, go ahead and get started on our mats. And um, bring your chair with you. So go ahead and put your chair right on your mat. Let me just adjust my camera here. Very good. And then we're just going to have a seat on the chair. And as you sit on the chair, we're just going to just gently begin to warm up a little bit. So um, go ahead and sit tall. Bring your knee to your chest. Rotate that ankle one way and rotate it the opposite direction. And then lower that leg down, bring the other knee to your chest, rotate it one way, and rotate it the opposite direction. And then bring that leg, leg down, put your hands right on the either side of your hips, lean back just a little bit so that you can pick up your left knee to your chest, lower it down, right knee to your chest. So we're just going to alternate side to side, side to side, just like this. Inhale, lift, then exhale. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. And keep going just like that with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. If you like to, you can slowly begin to hover your feet off the ground. So almost like you're bicycling on a chair. But make sure that you're not rounding the back. So lift the chest up, lean back just a little bit, and you're just going to bicycle the legs. Just like that, warming up the core. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Very nice. Bring it back to the center. Bring your feet down. Lean back just a little bit more. Hi, Frida. And then pick up your left foot off the ground and take your left leg out to the side and bring it back in. So we're using a little chair this morning. If you can grab your chair. So leaning back, picking up your right uh, foot off the ground, take the right leg out to the side and then back in. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall and all you're doing is really using the outside of the hip and move that leg out. That left leg is gonna wanna splay out too. I want you to keep the left leg nice and stable. All you're doing is lifting that right leg out to the side and lift. And lift. Keep your core engaged. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. You should be feeling this in the outside of that hip. 2, last one. Take it all the way out. Bring it back in. Shake that out a little bit. Bring the left knee to your chest. Flex that left foot and then take the left leg out to the side. So we're really using the abductor muscles on the outside of the hip to take that leg out and out. Keep the foot flexed. That right knee is gonna to wanna to, uh, go out to the side to keep the right knee to the center and all you're moving is that left leg out to the side. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Very nice. Bring it back in. Shake the legs out. I know I feel it back here. And then sit tall again. And this time you're going to bring the right knee to your chest, flex the foot, and then kick that leg straight forward. So I'll do it to the side so you can see me. 
So right knee to your chest, lift the chest up, flex the foot, and then kick. So you're gonna almost straighten the leg. You wanna keep a, a slight flexion of that knee as you kick the leg up, but really try and lift the heel away from your hip so that you're not just going like this, but really press that heel away and press the heel away, almost like you're moving through mud and press and press. So now you're, you're really using the quadriceps. All these muscles protect your knees, right? So um, the more you build up the quadriceps, the more you strengthen and straighten uh, the quadriceps, the more you're protecting your knees in the future. So keep that foot flexed and press. You should be feeling that in your hip flexors as well. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. So you're not using any weight at all, but you should really be feeling this now and then bring it down. Very nice. <laughs> Shake it out a little bit and then we're gonna do the other side. So lift the chest up, pick up that right foot off the ground, flex the foot and then press it up, the opposite leg, whichever leg you didn't do before, and press. And really do it consciously and slowly as you push the heel away, and push the heel away, like you're kicking that heel, but you're not just throwing the leg up. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, come on back up, stretch it out or shake that leg out. We're gonna to come to the edge of the chair and then take that left knee back behind you. So you're sitting on the, basically on the, right on the edge of your chair with the right hip on your chair. Hold on with your right hand, pick up the left foot off the ground. And then as you do, take that knee, guide that left knee back behind you so it's almost perpendicular to your body. It's almost the same line as your left hip. And then flex the foot and lower it down. So now we're really focusing on the hamstring, the muscles behind your thigh. And just tiny, tiny little movements, almost like you're flexing your bicep, but really squeeze that hamstring, squeeze the buttocks. And 10. I can't. Nine. Keeps uh, eight, me. Seven. Six. Five. Squeeze that buttocks, two, and one, and then just switch all the way around to the other side. So sit on the other cheek, whichever one you didn't do before. Flex that right foot, flex the foot, and then hold on to the chair so you're not trying to balance yourself. This is all about the hamstring. And squeeze the heel to your buttocks. Squeeze and squeeze the glutes and squeeze, and squeeze, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one, very nice. Come on down, move your chair to the side. We're done for that for right now and then come back to your mat. And we're gonna take your weight and hang on to your weight with holding on to uh, the weight with both hands. Your feet are nice and wide apart from each other. Your toes are turned out, heels are turned in. And then I want you to just drop into a squat. And as you stand tall, squeeze your inner thighs together. Drop into a squat, lift, keep the chest up and squeeze the inner thighs together. And squat, 
and lift the chest up as you squeeze the inner thighs together. So as you, if you notice, I'm letting the hip, I'm letting the tailbone go back behind me and then squeezing and lifting the inner thighs together. And drop, squats are one of the best forms of exercise. It really uh, gets all the large muscle groups, the glutes, um, the buttocks, the glutes, the quadriceps, the hamstrings working. So not only does it help you build muscles, but it also um, helps you um, helps you with metabolism. So because you're working on large muscle groups, you're actually increasing your metabolic rate and burning more calories. And squeeze. <laughs> I always love to do some form of squat, whether it's this one or you know lunges or single legged squats and drop lift and drop lift and five good and four you don't have to go so low that you your knee goes over the toes make sure that your knees are protected as you're doing the squats and last one very nice heel to your feet closer to each other now this time your toes are pointing forward and your knees and toes are pointing forward, just like this. Bring the uh, weight to your chest. And this time, as we're doing our squats, we're gonna lean back. So we lean back as opposed to the first one, and then lift and squeeze the buttocks together. And lean back, drop your hips down towards the floor, and squeeze the buttocks and lift up. And lean back. Keep the core engaged so your back is nice and protected, and then lift and drop and lift. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. You can even come down so maybe you tap your elbows to the knees, but if that's too low, just be mindful of your knees. You drop and then lift up and 10 and lift. Really shift your weight back to your heels. So as you come down, your toes are nice and light. You're not leaning forward. Lean back, drop the hips down, and come up to standing. And five more, and lift, and four, and lift, and three, and breathe out, exhale, and two, and lift, and one more, and we're gonna add on to this. So as you squat, lift up, and then see if you can shift your weight to one side and pick up the opposite knee and bring it to your elbow. And then place that foot down into your squat, lift the chest up, pick up the other knee and bring it to your elbow. So now we're really using the core to squat, shift your weight to the right, pick up the left knee and tap your elbow. Squat, shift your way over to the left, pick up the right foot and tap your elbow with the knee. And going side to side, nice and slow. Inhale and exhale. Inhale into squat, exhale, tap your knee with your elbow. Inhale, exhale. Let me hear you exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale you can go as slowly as you want to actually slower i think is a lot more difficult at times exhale inhale lower exhale inhale lower exhale and five more on both sides and four more exhale and three exhale and two Exhale, and last one. Exhale, and that's it. Very nice. Bring the uh, weight down, drop the weight for a moment, and just shake out the legs, shake out the arms. And we're gonna move on to the next one. This time, you're gonna uh, take your weights again, hold on to the weights, bring the weights up to your chest. Your feet and, and knees are, a bigger or wider than the hip width. 
You're going to drop into your squat. And then as you come up, you're going to tap the left knee to the right elbow. And then stay on the same side. Squat, left knee to the right elbow. And squat, and left knee to the right elbow. So now we're using all the oblique muscles as you're bringing the knee to the elbow. So it's a lot easier to take the elbow to the knee. I want you to keep your chest up and lift the knee to the elbow. Yes. Squat, very nice. Knee to the elbow. Good. Exhale, and then draw the knee to the elbow. Squat, and 10, and nine, and eight. So good for your balance and your core strengthening and all the leg muscles. And three, and two, and last one, and then switch to the other side. Squat, right knee to the left elbow. Squat, right knee to the left elbow. Squat, right knee to the left elbow. Good. Keep the shoulders down. And just bring up that right knee as much as you want to, but I want you to keep the chest up. So don't drop forward just to bring the knee up. And 10, nine, breathe out. Exhale as you come up, eight, seven, and six, five, these are so, I don't know if you still ski, but these are so good for skiing. Three. I don't know whether I still ski either. Two, I can't hear you. Oh. And last one, very nice. Drop the weight down, shake the legs out. Take your weight to your right hand and you hold did. on to it. And then lean your weight over to the right, pick up your left foot off the ground. So turn around so you can see me. So your left foot is back behind you, your toes are touching the floor. And then you're gonna take the knee, take the heel to your hip, almost like you're doing a, a hamstring curl, take, the, uh, take it to your hip, but you wanna hold here and then flex the foot and push that heel back. Bring it back in, tap, lift it up and press. Back in, tap, lift it up and press. Back in, tap, lift it up and press. If you need to hold on to something, you can hold on to a wall or a chair, but really good for the balance, lift the chest up, press, tap, lift up and press. Tap, lift up and press, tap. Lift up and press. Five more, tap. Lift and push, keep that heel flexed. Imagine I have my hand behind your heel and you're pushing my hand away. And three, and two. Last one, very nice. Let's switch to the other side. Left, right leg goes back behind you, flex the foot. And then as you lift that foot up, flex the foot, you're gonna squeeze the heel into your buttocks and press it back and tap. Lift up and press and tap. Lift up and press and tap. Lift up and press. So really feel it in your hamstring, the back of your legs and tap. Lift up, press and back. In the meantime, your belly is engaged, your chest is lifted. And six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very, very nice. Shake that leg out. Take your legs way out to the side. Hold on to your weight in your left hand. And then you're gonna bend your left knee, lift that left arm up towards the sky and push the earth away, lower that arm down. 
Inhale, bring the weight to your chest, to your uh, shoulder. Bend the left knee, reach up, and then lower down, strengthen. So we're not combining the biceps with that knee. And inhale, press, and exhale, lower. Inhale, press as you bend the knee, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up overhead, bend the knee, and straighten the knee, and elbow comes down. Inhale, lift, exhale. Inhale, five more, exhale. Each time your arm is overhead, you're bending the knee. And if this is too much for your shoulder, just get rid of the weight. Or you can just take your arm out to the side instead of going over the shoulder. Three, two, and last one. Very nice. Now bring the arm, stay on the same side. Bend that left knee again. Your um, hand is right on the inside of that left knee. And then bend it a little bit lower and you're gonna lean to the side and then straighten back. So lean and lean the weight over to the side and then push the floor away and straighten it back. Inhale, reach and exhale. It's almost like you have, you're pulling something towards your body. So imagine you're giving it away and then you're pulling it towards your body. You give it away and then you're like pulling it towards your body. I always do this kind of game where I used to, my dogs are too old now, they don't do it, but they used to always want to grab something out of my hand and then I have to pull it away. And five more. And four. And three. Two and last one. Very nice. Come back to the center, switch sides, turn your left right toes out. You're gonna bend the left right knee and then reach the arm overhead. And as you exhale, lower the arm down and straighten the leg. Inhale, reach, bend the knee, exhale, lower the arm, straighten the knee. Inhale, reach, exhale. Lower. So almost like you're doing a deadlift with the arm as you're bending that leg. Inhale, reach, bend the knee, exhale, straighten the knee, lower the arm. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And five more. And four. And three, last two, last one. Very nice. This time, bring the hand down, bend the knee, reach the weight forward, and then push it back towards yourself. Reach the weight forward and press it back. Press the knee straight as you push the heel into the ground, lift back. Inhale, reach. Exhale back. Inhale, reach. Exhale back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach and exhale. You're like, you're giving it and then you change your mind. No, 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 it's mine. Give it back to me. Give it away and then you're like, no, it's mine. Give it back. And 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Good job. Release the weight down. Let's towel up if you need to. Get a, a cup of water if you need to. Just stretch out the arms. Stretch out the legs, shake out the legs a little bit. And then we're just gonna move a little bit. So let's get the heart rate up a little bit. Just tap your legs side to side. Inhale, reach up, 
Exhale, lower, inhale, and exhale. You're just tapping side to side. Good. Just getting your heart rate up a little bit. So now we're gonna move together. So bring your feet to the center, exhale out to the side, bring your arms out and then tap, bring your arms in and tap and tap. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, this time we're gonna tap in front, tap in front. So tap your heel in front of the other leg and your arms can go back and forth or to the side, whichever one is okay for you. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Now we're going to tap in the back. Tap, tap, almost like you're skating. Skating side to side. Your arms can be skater pose. And tap the foot in the back. And 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Now come back to the center so the legs are nice and warmed up. You're going to do um, what I like, like drawing a half circle with that right leg. So take the right leg out, way in front, and then tap. Take the left leg out way in front and tap. Right leg out way in front. So you're gonna kind of do a little hop and tap. Left leg out circle. You're doing a big circle, half circle and then tap. Your hands can be on your hips or you, if you wanna raise your heart rate, you can lift your arms overhead. So take the leg way in front, big circle and tap. Take the leg way in front, big circle and tap and keep going just like this. If this is too much on your knee and you don't wanna hop, you can just stop, just step, just step to the side. Keep the knee slightly bent. If you wanna raise your heart rate a little bit more, you can do a little hop and a little hop and hop and hop. Otherwise just step, 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 step and step. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, shake it out. Inhale and exhale. So we're gonna add all those things together. So we had the tap to the side, we had the tap to the front, and we had the tap to the back, and then we had the hops side to side, okay? So the, it's four movements, and we're just gonna do about 10 seconds on each of them. So I'll keep the time for you. Take a nice deep breath in, breath in come to one side of your mat. And then initially, we're just gonna start with the tap. That's 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna go to the front, 10. Just tap into front, nine. Eight, seven, six, 
five. As you can see, I'm tapping the outside edge of my foot in front. Three, two, one, and then tap to the back and back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, as you feel your heart rate coming up a little bit, three, two, one, and then we're gonna do that little hop thing. So hop, and then big circle, hop, big circle, hop. And if you don't wanna hop, just step to the side, but do the big circle, step, big circle, step, big circle, step, big circle, step, or hop, hop. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good, very good, good job. You're so strong. Are you okay with the hopping? I think Is it okay, have, thumbs up or no? Have, I think you have me on mute. Oh, I don't, I, I, you're not on mute, I can hear you. Am I on mute? No, no, you, okay, now you went on mute. I just unmuted myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was gonna I was asking you if you're okay with the hops. Is it okay on your knees? Yes. Okay, perfect. So <laughs> we're gonna um then do a little bit. We're gonna what, what, I'm, what I'm having trouble with is um the uh, leg raises which you did earlier because my hamstring spasm. Got you. So, but you're okay with the side to side movements. Okay. All right. Yeah, we just have to do with what we got, right? right? We'll just make the best of it. Exactly. So, what I want you to do is come to one side of your mat and you're going to do that uh, step to the side. You're gonna just hop off. So see if that's okay for you. If it's not, if it doesn't work for your hamstring, then don't do it. No, we're gonna change things. something else. So step to the side and hop. Step to the side and hop. And step and hop. And step and hop. Step and hop. Step and hop. Step, hop, hop, hop. So that's the first movement. Then you're gonna go step and hop. And then you're gonna reach up, come up on your toes, come back in your squat, and then hop to the other side. Reach up, come up on your toes, lean back in your squat and hop. So the more you squat, the easier it is actually on your knees. So keep the knees slightly flexed, reach up and down. And hop, reach up and down and hop, reach up, and down, and hop, reach up, and down, and hop, and up, and down, and up, and up, and down. Bend the knees deep as you come down, reach up, and down, hop, reach up, and down, and keep it going, exhale, reach, and bend the knee, hop, and reach, bend the knee, and hop one more, reach, bend the knee, and hop, reach, bend the knee. Good job, you did great on that one. So now bring your feet together. Thank you. And we're gonna do um, kind of a standing jacks. So instead of the jump, jumping jacks, we're gonna keep the feet together and then step out, and in, step out and in, and step and in. And if you notice, I have my knees bent the whole time. So the more the, we bend the knees, the more quadriceps we're using, which means that we're not putting too much pressure on the knees and we take away the opportunity of injury there. And out 
and in, and out and in, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good job, and last one, very nice, come back in. So let's take a break on our legs, we've been working our legs so hard. <laughs> Let's, um, if you have your chair, you can hang on, bring your chair. If you don't have a chair, you don't need it. But if you do, you might want to bring it up. We're going to do some upper body exercises now. So let's go ahead and just kind of stretch it out before we move on. So have a seat on your chair. Bring one knee to your chest. Rotate that ankle. And then put that outside of your ankle on top of that knee, the opposite knee. And as you lift the chest up, just kind of lean forward. This is such a good stretch for the outside of that hip. We really work your hips and the legs today. Does this feel okay for you? Yeah. Okay, good. And as you lean forward just a little bit, you, feel, you might feel this stretch a little bit more. But if you feel any any pain or tension or sharp pain in your knees, back up. We don't want any sharp pain. And then come on all the way up. Take that knee all the way over so like you're sitting cross-legged. Bring the opposite hand behind that to the outside of that knee. And then do a nice little twist. Inhale, lift the chest up and exhale. Rotate your torso to the side. Do you feel your heart rate up? Yeah. Okay, good. And then come back to the center, unwind your legs, bring the opposite knee to your chest, rotate the ankle, and rotate it the opposite way. And then take that ankle on top of the thigh, and as you lift the chest up, you'll feel the stretch in that outer hip. You can, the more you lean forward, the more stretch you feel in that hip. And then come on all the way up, cross that knee all the way over like you're sitting cross-legged. Take your uh, hand to the outside of that knee and then just twist over to the side. And then come back to the center. Put your, extend your left leg straight, you know, do it this way so you can see me. So extend your left leg straight, flex the left foot, and then just lean over to that left leg. So this is a really good stretch for you to do, especially for the hamstring. You don't have to go that low. As you can see, my back is straight. So come down as far as you can, but really think about flexing the toes. So the more you flex the foot, the more stretch you'll get in your calves and Achilles tendon that leads all the way up to your hamstring. Do you feel this stretch? Mm. <clears throat> yes. Okay. And then come on up on the opposite side, extend the right leg, flex the right toes, lift the toes up towards the sky, and then just lean forward just a little bit, but try not to round the back. The more the tailbone goes back behind you, the more stretch you feel in the back of that hamstring. Right. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, and then come on all the way back. Sit tall and grab your weight. So let's start with the left side. So have your weight right next to your body. 
palm of your hand is facing inside of your body. Inhale, begin to do a hammer curl. So bring the weight to your shoulder and then exhale, lower down. So we're gonna do this with a count. I want you to take four counts to come up. One, two, three, four, tap the weight to the shoulder and then one, two, three, four, all the way down. So we're doing it really super slow. One, two, three, four, tap, one, two, three, four, lower. One, two, three, four, tap. One, two, three, four, lower. That's three, two, three, tap. Two, three, four, lower. That's four, we just have four more to go. Three, five, two, three, lower, two, three, six, three, lower, two more, three, seven, two, three, down, our last one, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, down, this time, come on up, one, two, three, so look, my elbow is 90 degree angle, and all I'm gonna do is just do little pulses off. Just pulse, pulse. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, lower that arm down, switch the weight. So your right hand is holding onto the weight. You're gonna inhale for four counts, bring the weight up, and tap your shoulder and then down two, three, four. That's one, two, three, that's two. And keep it good, just eight of these. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's three, four, one, two, three. Four, that's four, halfway there. One, two, three, four, that's five. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, seven. Two, three, that's eight. And then this time you're gonna come on up, pause here, my elbow is 90 degree, and you're just gonna do little pauses up, pause, pause, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower the weight down, very nice. Take the weights in both hands so that I'm holding on. I'm going to show you here. I'm holding on to the weight like this. So the weight is resting in the palm of my hand. Palms are up. Take the weights overhead and then drop the head weight back behind you and press it up towards the sky. And drop it back and press. So notice if your chin is getting forward, if it is, take your chin back, lean back a little bit. This way you don't hurt your neck. And press and drop. So notice my elbow just drops down to about 45 degrees. I'm not taking it all the way down to my back. And just a nice way of extend the uh, tricep and then bend it. Inhale and exhale and press and five more and four and that's three and two and last one. Very nice. Lower the arms down, shake the arms out, but stretch out your tricep, take the right arm up and just grab your opposite elbow and just gently stretch it out. 
and then do the other the same with the opposite side so grab the left elbow and gently stretch And then lower that arm down. Pick up the weight one more time, please. Bring the uh, elbow right next to you. So 90 degree angle. And then this time I'm gonna have you extend the arm straight and then pull it back as if you're doing it, well, you are doing a seated roll. So we're, well, we're just doing it on one side, extend the arm and then pull the arm back. So. If you notice my shoulder is not, I'm not going way in front. So my seat, I'm sitting straight up, upright, spine is tall. All I'm doing is extending the arm and then pulling it back. The elbow stays right alongside the body the whole time. And extend and then pull back. The elbow stays right next to me and extend. And as I'm pulling back, I'm not turning my torso. The torso stays forward the entire time. Inhale and pull and inhale and pull. And let's do five more and pull and four and back and three and back and two. And back and last one. Very nice. And then switch sides, switch arms. Take that elbow right next to your body. So your elbow is hugging into your rib cage. You're sitting tall. Extend the arm forward and then pull it back without moving your shoulder back. The torso stays forward. Inhale and then pull it back. Sit and roll. Inhale and pull back. Inhale, keep the chest up, keep the spine long. And inhale and pull. And inhale and pull. And inhale and pull. And five more. Four more. And three. And two. And last one, very, very nice. Lower the leg, lower the um, uh, weight down. You're gonna put your weight, seat away. If you're sitting on a chair, put your chair away. And we're coming down on our mats. So go ahead and um, lay down on your back, please. And as you lie down on your back, roll over to on um, the left side. Take your arm above your head. Palm is open. And you're just gonna do a nice little rotation out behind you and then bring the arm back. So imagine you have a little tray on top of your hand and you're just gonna rotate that shoulder back. You don't want anything from the tray to fall down. Keep the palm straight up towards the ceiling. And you're just gonna do these nice little rotations of the shoulders. The elbow stays bent. And you just take the arm out to the side and bring it back. And 10, and reach up. And nine, and reach up. Eight. Reach up, seven, and up, and five, up, four, three, two, and last one. Good. And then bring your hands behind you, interlace the fingers behind you, inhale, and as you exhale, pick up the head and shoulders, Lift and hold it up. You're gonna squeeze that uh, kind of the oblique muscles on the right side. And then you're just gonna pulse it up and up and 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Keep your right hand behind your head. 
reach the left fingertips towards your heel and lift it up a little bit higher, almost like you're reaching for your heel. You want to touch your heels. You're not going to be able to do that, but just have that intention. Lift up and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And lower all the way down. Just stay here for a moment. Stretch it out. Stretch out that entire right side, the arms, let your arms open to the side. And then slowly we're going to switch sides. So however you can get there, just turn your body, roll over to the other side, to the right side. And as you lie down, take your left arm back behind you, your palm is open. Again, you're holding on to that imaginary tray. And then reach the tray overhead, making sure you don't spill anything from your tray and then open to the side. And reach and open. And reach and open. So good for your shoulder, just like not you're doing like a quarter circle above your head with that tray on top of your hand. Keep it going. You're almost done. Five more. And four more. Three. Two. And last one. And then bring the hands behind you, your head, interlace the fingers, and then just kind of lift the head and shoulders up and just pulse it up. Pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, hold it. Keep the left hand behind your head, reach the right fingertips towards your heels, and then lift up. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then lower down and just stay in your twist for a little bit. Just stretch it out. Take a nice deep breath in. And then roll all the way on your back, putting your feet flat on the floor. Take a nice deep breath in. Take your arms out to the side. Lift the head and shoulders up. Pause here. If it bothers your neck, you can always take one hand or both hands behind your head. But I want you to think about lifting up and up and up. Remember that tray on top of your hands? You're lifting up. Don't let the tray fall. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower the head and shoulders down. Rest for a moment. Pick up your feet off the ground so the knees and the hips are 90 degrees. Bring your hands behind your head, lift the head and shoulders up. And then as you lift the head and shoulders up, bring your knees a little bit closer to your chest and then extend and bring the knees. So it's like you're rolling on your low back and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Just a nice little core movement and 10. Lift the hips up as you bring your knees to your chest. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very, very nice. Lower down. Just relax here for a moment. Bring your right knee to your chest, extend that right leg straight, rotate the ankle and rotate it the other way. You can interlace the fingers behind the hamstring and then just gently, very, very gentle, bring it to your chest. Nice, nice little pulses down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then bend the knee. Put the uh, ankle on top of that left knee. Bring your left knee towards your chest and then just stretch it out. Stretch out the hips.
And then lower that left foot down, put the right foot down, take the left leg up towards the sky, interlace the fingers around the hamstring, and just gentle pull. So you're not yanking the leg to your chest, but just a nice little movement. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then hold it here for a moment. And take the ankle on top of the opposite knee. Pick up that right knee off, right foot off the ground. And then stay here for a moment. Just stretch out that left hip. And then bring both knees towards your chest. Rock a little bit side to side. Massage your low back. And go ahead and just sit up, sit up tall. You can sit on a chair or just sit comfortably on the floor. Cross your legs if you can. Otherwise, you can sit on a block or a chair or anything that you have. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms away from the top of your head. Reach up, stretch it up, and then fold over to one side. Come back to the center, fold over to the opposite side. Come back to the center, reach all the way out of your waist, stretch it up, exhale, lower the hands down. Whichever shin you have in front, take the opposite shin in front now. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Interlace the fingers the strange way. It's gonna feel like you're missing a finger. And then reach the palms up, inhale, and exhale, fold over to the opposite side. And then come back to the center and fold over. Come back to the center, really reach all the way up. Exhale, lower the arms down and give yourself a big, 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 big hand. That was a challenging workshop, workshop workout for your hips. We worked your body all the way from your toes, ankles, knees, quadriceps, hamstrings, hips, upper body, core. Everything is worked out. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> so have a great great day thank you and uh, i hope to see you on friday unfortunately i'm going to be out of town okay so. good well stay healthy take care of yourself right <laughs> okay awesome so have on, a good day. on um saturday i have a 79th birthday Oh my goodness, 79. Frida, I am so inspired. I had no idea. I thought you were like, you know, 60, maybe late. Wow. Congratulations. That was amazing. Are you do you have anything planned? Yes. That's why that's why I'm going out of town. Oh, fantastic. Well, enjoy your birthday and you know. It's so inspiring. I love I love how strong you are and how determined you are. Well, I'm very determined. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can see that. Well, you look fantastic and I hope you have a great birthday. Well, if I can, I'll try to tune in. I'm trying to think of if I can tune in, I will. Yeah, no worries. Enjoy your birthday weekend. That's a big one. <laughs> Thank All right. You. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Happy birthday.